Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can select any formula cell or any cell used by a formula cell and then trace either the precedent or dependent cells for the selected cell. When you do this, Excel will draw blue arrows either from the selected cell to its dependent cells or from the precedent cell to the selected cell, depending on which button you choose from the auditing toolbar. If you select a cell and then choose, let's say, trace dependents, sometimes you'll see an arrow that's actually black pointing at a picture of a spreadsheet. You can actually double click on the black arrows to view the go to dialog box, which should point to the spreadsheet reference in the other workbook or spreadsheet. You can then click on it to select it and click OK to jump to the reference cell. At that point you can continue tracing your dependents or your precedents. To view precedent cells for a formula cell, select the formula cell and then click the Trace Precedents button on the auditing toolbar. The trace arrow goes back to the precedent cells referenced in that formula. In some cases, these cells may be formulas too. In that case, you can continue to click the Trace Precedents button to view the cells that are the precedent cells of the selected cells precedent cells. In this way, you can actually work backwards several levels to discover which cells are being referenced by the formula to perform its calculations. So this is handy for determining from which cells in the spreadsheet formulas are calculating their information. Tracing dependent cells is basically the same process in reverse. You simply click on a cell from which you would like to find the dependent cells and then click Trace Dependents in the auditing toolbar. Excel once again draws arrows to any formula cells that need the value in the selected cell to function. And you can click the Trace Dependents button as many times as you need to in order to display multiple levels of dependency from the selected cell if necessary. To remove the auditing arrows that Excel draws, you can click Remove Precedent Arrows or Remove Dependent Arrows as needed. A quick way, though, is to simply bring up the sheet that has multiple arrows on it, and to remove all arrows in a worksheet, click the Remove All Arrows button in the Auditing Toolbar. This removes all arrows from the worksheet, but it's important to note that you must clear the traced arrows in each individual worksheet separately. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.